this is me sharing some beautiful wonderful peaceful scene oh and also i want to share something super cool i'm so excited guys finally although it took only a few days our wood-fired pizza oven is here um, if you've been following me for a while you've seen the same exact pizza oven back in california but since we moved as my children would say mom the only thing we miss from the old house is the pizza oven can you believe it and if i think what do i miss um, from the old house i don't miss the oven i miss the energy when we gather around whether it's pizza or whatever we baked or cooked or fired in that oven uh, i miss that atmosphere so it's finally here it's again from authentic pizza oven company they're really great they're so friendly their customer service is like number one so i'll link them in the description if you like to check around see what they have they have multiple different designs this is my absolute favorite but they have quite a few to choose from so feel free to check it out and i can't wait to open this up although we're not installing it yet is it called uh, installing or placing in its place anyways uh, so we'll be waiting for our neighbor eric to bring the special machine so we can it's almost a ton so uh, it's not easy to just grab it and put it somewhere uh, probably next week we'll do that but i want to remove all the different things that came with pizza oven there is also something inside i don't know if you can see but i also want to show you our new outdoor kitchen we'll do a quick tour it's not completely ready but you'll see you'll have the general idea how it's gonna look most importantly i'll show you where the pizza oven will go so this is a huge roof and we made it this big especially this is the exact shape of our uh, house roof so it matches with the house it's like one thing you know so that was the purpose of making this huge uh, size roof on top of the outdoor kitchen and this will be our outdoor kitchen uh, we still need to place the granite countertops this is the place for the sink this is the mm, you know what trash can goes there we'll have separate no not this one uh, just the countertops over here and some shelves and here will be the her highness pizza oven so excited and something like this so when it's ready i'll do a complete tour because we still have a lot to do here and this is the grill area so yeah this is a quick tour and i'm gonna go call my husband and show you something else I mean, we'll unpack the pizza oven uh, pieces, <laughs> pizza oven pieces, and just go from there. And I want to show you something very quickly. So this is another harvest of garlic. I harvested a lot of garlic this year, and my radishes are ready. And quick tour. <laughs> I know you've seen my little garden already, but I want to show you a little more oh and also a quick tip if you want the garlic heads to be bigger you need to tie them like this that's what my um, relatives advised me okay and i have some flowers here and next year i'm not gonna plant garlic anymore hi alma hi sirunas She's the sweetest dog ever. Okay. And here I have some little flowers here and there and some herbs. This is cilantro. 
uh, another kind of cilantro it's I think fanfetti or I don't know how it's called I let this grow to form seeds oh, and everything grows in garden so beautifully broccoli is looking so big and healthy I don't eat the leaves anymore I let them alone and I don't uh, pick up the uh, romaine lettuce either because it started becoming tough and we don't like it tough so I'm gonna let it grow so we can remove the hearts later these are good too I picked up some yesterday the curly salad so delicious and I picked up lots of the uh, red curly salad too also I oh look at this they say they bite but I don't know they are also good pollinators so I removed some of the bits and replanted them I thinned them I mean uh, replanted them here they look very un unstable but as the time goes they'll pick up so this way they'll have uh, bigger heads that's that I also thinned my carrots I planted some white radish like daikon here they coming out and the peppers are looking so good already I think I need to tie this one up it's it's falling mm -hmm. okay and I don't remember what kind of salad is this I, I just uh, planted them very close very thick it's not the best uh, idea but I don't know I, I replanted some of them in bags let me show you mm. oh, also let me show you my watermelons mm, there should be here can you see them teeny weeny this is a sugar baby it's called sugar baby these are the tiny ones I don't know how they're called what they're growing this is romaine I replanted them you know I mm, seeded them very um, uh, thick and very close to each other and then I removed them and separated so far they look okay I did this like a couple of days ago this is a singular pea I don't know who planted it but it's growing I didn't bother it this is um, an eggplant that's that this is romaine this is that red salad it has some name I don't know how it's called honestly I can't remember all the names these are melons watermelons watermelons onions ginger I don't know what this is mm could be something healthy and good for you I don't know it looks like a vegetable and more um, watermelons oh, that's it so far I'm gonna go call my husband we have peonies here um, hydrangeas I planted another one yesterday those are hydrangeas too this is a different kind and looks like they'll have flowers in a month or so and here they are oh, this one looks good I planted this one I replanted from um, from the pot to this uh, place because it's much better for hydrangea M more space it will grow much better and this is my Mother's Day gift Arnak bought me a very dark he said very dark rose so we planted it yesterday it was an early mother's day gift that's it nothing new here okay i'll go call the chef oh and look my cactus is from california i saved them in a garage for winter and now i, I lost my hope they're gonna ever uh, blossom but this one already blossomed can you see and this one looks like it's rotten but so far it good uh, it looks good on this side so I'm saving it we'll see okay and our village lifestyle shoes 
and the planter we did yes yesterday not yesterday together so yeah now welcome home and that's the chef master chef that's palma good kids are out finally i always tell them go get some vitamin d that's that's what I mean by going out. I say go get vitamin D. Okay, let's see what we got. Anka, did you see our new pizza oven? Yeah, I did. You wanna help me to unpack? Yeah. 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 You wanna start? Yeah. Or just uh, cut the plastic. I think we can just wrap and do it like this. Rip it. Oh. Like a we're not gonna take these things apart right Anna not the wood because we're not installing it today but it's gonna be raining so we need a good plastic wrap although the other oven remember in California when it was raining we didn't have a proper cover we had this pergola it was like half open and it would get uh, slightly humid and it will take a while to preheat the oven oh we got this a very useful tool pizza peel a wooden one and uh, this thing and this will be the scrubber scratcher mm. brush in case something sticks inside the oven let's say we bake whatever with or cheese goes yeah. gooey or uh, I don't know, whatever. Oh, oh and this is another pizza peel. Mm -hmm. Yay, so we're ready. All we need is... That's it? So, oh, and this is the cover. You want to open it? This is a very oh, hand, handy tool. Yeah, oh, and that's the logo. This is the cover. And it looks so neat. See, now we're going to be using the cover. I eventually got the cover from Amazon, but it wasn't... I mean, no, that was a cover for, for a grill we were using for pizza oven. It has to be covered. Although it's under roof, I don't think it's going to get wet whatsoever. Oh, it's a huge cover. Oh, and it's very cute. <laughs> I think we can open these front things to remove the inside belongings. Okay. Nice. Oh, and it has this thing for the Aram. How are we gonna cover it if we uh, extend the chimney? See? <laughs> we need to think about that. Alma is the third player. Oh, good girl! That's Are it. You see? <laughs> see, she oh, takes it and goes what? like That's as far as she can. Arka, so she's gonna eat that bowl, Arka. He's asking her in a very friendly Arma. manner. Like shame on you. Our dog speaks Armenian. Alma, Motes, Motes. Good girl. I just said, come to me. Like I didn't say, put it down. Arka, <laughs> where's She's like, oh, you didn't say, put it down. Alma. <laughs> she wants to play too. Yeah, she's being a bad girl. I got there is another ball. Oh, she wants this one. Look, there is another exact same ball over there. But she wants the one they're playing with. Mm, yeah, she mm -hmm. she's also playing. Nice. It's more visible. 
graffiti, like from a like from a movie or a cartoon or a fairy tale. Oh, go get this shot. Oh, get it, get it, get it. That's it. That's bad. They learn right. to play That's safely to with Alma, it. not to hurt like, her. Or shit. <laughs> I see the nose. Oh, this girl. She's a girl that, that likes to play hockey. <laughs> with her necklace on. Of course, of course. Very feminine, very girly, yeah, playing a man's sport. And to me, hockey is a man's sport. Good job, Alma. Arka, there is a hole in your pants. All his pants, most of them, have holes. And I'm like, Arka, what happened? He's like, I was hockey goalie. It's like he can't uh, wear those oh. knee pads. Mm -hmm. Closer and closer. Aram, while you do that, I'm gonna go check on Lucin. I asked Lucin to pour some compost under my tomatoes. I fluff up the soil. Oh, she's done. Oh, she's done now. I thought she's still working. If it was me, I would still be here. But <laughs> kids finish everything so much faster because they don't want to do it. That's why they do quick, finish and go. And then you can't find them. Let's see what she did. My tomatoes have grown so much. Very proud of them. <laughs> Look, I fluff up the soil underneath and then added some mushroom compost. Maybe in a few weeks I'll add cow manure. Oh, I didn't notice there is a tomato here. Good job. It's so nice here. Yeah, I don't want to go up. I'll wait until my husband finishes. I'll just check a little more. I have more tomatoes here and a little one here. I planted here a, a while later than in the other bed. So these are larger. She's my girl, okay? She follows me everywhere. Those are larger than these ones. And this is my zucchini squash. I left, I, I planted quite a few, then my subscribers from Russian channel told me you put too many in this small place, they're gonna cover all the tomatoes. So I remove them. I'm gonna take this one off too. It, it doesn't look very nice, very happy. And I planted them here. Look, I didn't have a chance to check. It still looks healthy. Oh, this one looks like it's it's needing some water, maybe. I don't know. I'll, no, the soil is pretty wet. We had really heavy rains past few days. Okay, I'll go check on my husband. But first I want to check my eggplants. They are still alive, growing, happy. Oh, and we got another pepper here. Oops. Hmm, I don't know which kind is this. It's called oops, <laughs> Cubanella. Yeah, the sweet peppers are here. Spicy ones are upstairs on the ups, up. I, I call them upstairs, downstairs gardens. Oh. Okay, so far so good. Potatoes look amazing. They look so healthy. <laughs> Okay, we'll go check on my husband and the strawberries are... We pick up almost every other day. Kids can't wait until everything is all nice and ripe. Good. This was a quick check. Let's go do another quick check and see if our oven is open, ready. Oh, yes. Look at this lady. She she went to the pool, got cooled off a little. 
and she'll be sunbathing soon. That's her routine. Now we're using child labor option. <laughs> be careful, guys, there are snails. No, no. Careful, but. And they take only one and go. Yeah, go. Just be careful. Well, be careful, Mom. That's it. That's it. Oh, this is the thermometer. It goes here. I'm just gonna quickly show you when we all assemble, you'll see. Oh, this is the one. Oh, this is the one. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Do you think we can put this all in the shed? In the garage? Okay. And this is the pan, clay pan, I believe. I need to season it before using it. You can bake basically everything and anything in this pan. I have another one, so I'll have two, which is even better because it's quite many of us. These are the doors. This is double door, and it's so convenient. We, we used to make barbecue in the oven. It was so delicious. Imagine, like covered, cooked to the perfection. And those, if I can reach them, this is so deep, Aram. We can uh, roast an entire piglet. Sorry, vegan people. That's delicious. Okay, so this will be the paint or the thing. Okay, first time I have to confess, we didn't season the oven properly. I mean, this needs to be seasoned long and slow before you use like good fire in it. So we didn't do that and we got it cracked. But this thing saved us. We simply covered it with this. No cracks were even visible. Oh, this is a special thing to cover the cracks. That's why we were able to cover the cracks. It's a repair <laughs> thing. <laughs> so, and this is like lifetime supply. And the brush is in there too. See? So, I'm so happy. I can't wait to start already. In a few days, I think we'll be good to go. And now I'm going to cover this because we're expecting rain when? Tomorrow? The next day? Next. next day. Okay. Aram, I'll put everything in there. It's the safest place. And we will need to get this chimney thing, like the long one. And we should be good to go. Yay. Check the cover. Anything else? Yes. We need a hole for the chimney. Yes. Oh, these are perfect. <laughs> I guess we can cut through when we put this thing because it's not going to be possible to cover it. And we may not even need to cover it. We needed this in the other house. This is perfect. We could do it the right way around or no? Mm -hmm. This looks perfect. Okay. Arka, just be careful. Don't hit with your packs. Their packs aren't heavy. So I think that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys uh, will comment like subscribe share we'll be very thankful so i'll see you soon Yay. so excited for this thing you can't believe it you can't believe it <laughs>